Hello everyone, this is my um, game four of Gokuram 3 round six against Psyduck. It is currently 2-1 for my opponent, so if he wins this, he wins the series. So let's not make sure that doesn't happen. I'm gonna... Okay, so what have we got? We have Fool's Gold, and we have sources of buy. We have Trashers, we have Thrones, we have Black Market, which has... A vast array of stuff, some including villages, some cursors, some stuff. Or a swindler. A swindler can uh, swindle fool's gold into estates or demotes or stuff. A swindler could also swindle anything from the black market into something lame like uh, a kadachi or a fiatum. Uh, well, you can moat you can moat uh, the swindler. You can also open stone mace and get two swindlers, two stewards. Uh, stewards. Stewards good. I mean, you could, you could kind of do like a fool's gold. There's horse traders too as a defense. Um, fool's gold horse traders kind of thing is actually quite looks quite decent. You have procession, which doesn't turn the four cost actions into anything higher. There's spice merchant, which is also very nice. If you're looking for trashing, you would want Spice Merchant. Although a Swindler could turn your curse, uh, coppers into curses, and then you have no way to deal with them except with Steward. Or Defense, or Stone Mason. There's a lot of trashers. And the Stone Mason could also Stone Mason defeat him. A lot of stuff you could do. I don't even know if I want the Swindler, because it has a lot of... It has a few defenses. Like fool's gold horse traders. Yeah, I'd get a lot of fool's golds. While I trash. I don't know. It seems kind of slow. Whereas a fool's gold spice merchant opening, you can trash at least the copper and then get maybe two stone gold, uh, fool's golds in a turn. Yeah, my opponent gets a spice merchant. I, I think I like that. Um, you could use this for the plus two coins plus one buy. And you're likely to get uh, two fool's golds in a turn. You might also do spice merchant swindler. I can't do that. I have two. Do I, do I want a moat? Uh, I better... I have a feeling it's going to go spice merchant swindler. Yeah. In which case, do I want the horse traders? To discard stuff and uh, because then he turns my coppers into curses, I can't trash them. With spice merchant and be left with some coppers. He could turn my uh, my fool's gold into estates. That's a big issue. And then I'll get a swindler myself. So yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, I could get a swindler myself to. Make sure you can't do too much damage because if he goes for fool's gold, if was, if I get a lot of fool's golds, I'll still be very in very good shape. He would have to contest me for them, but if I also get a swindler, it makes him have the same risk. Now, now he would also have a chance of getting fool's golds turned to estates. Uh, swindler, spice merchant. Good for him. I could get a force traders, I guess. Procession. It's the horse traders, yeah. So let's discard that. They want a spice merchant, or they just want two fools golds. Or I have a lot. Of, I'll have a lot of turn. Uh, or do I want another swindler? I could get fools gold swindler. Go double swindler on him. Um, and maybe punish a spice merchant. Uh, I kind of like the spice merchant, but I, it's not a great hand. I kind of want at least one fool's gold here. And if I get two, no, I'll go for the uh, fool gold swindler kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Here I could get uh, two fool's golds or spice merchant. Let's actually just try to, uh, hmm. 
state gets turned into state, and if the estates run out, well, see what happens here. The states run out, at least it's not, the fool's gold won't be turned into something horrific. Ooh, you get a horde. Let's get the horde. Or one of these. That would be pretty good. You can get a forger and like a steward or a forger and a fool's gold or a plaza and a fool's gold. Yeah, it's a plaza. That's a nice round number. Which is a reaction card. Oh, he's giving him a curse. So it's eight. Do I want another fool's gold? Do I want what do I want here? Um I'm not getting any trashing done. At this point, steward is more safe for trash. So if I have three at another point in time, I could get a steward. If I get the province, I'll, I'll be defense against Swindler. I, I could, the province could be discarded to horse traders. Um, my opponent has a chance of getting two fool's golds. Do I want fool's golds in the long run? I think I want trashing in the long run. I, um, I get the province. Well, I'll get the province. Oh, but he had he had he had a horse traders in his hand. I didn't realize that. If uh, had I, I should have realized that a horse traders in his hand. That changes a lot because then he could just guarantee to get the last two fools golds if he wants to. So, I think that's a game breaker. That I didn't get the. Uh, oh, but he doesn't actually play the horse traders. Plays that instead. So then I have to take this, get the last fool's gold. Bless my luck here. Here I could get a province again. But if I play a swindler, I could get another province. Um. I could also get a five and a steward. A steward would trash, but uh, do I have enough time for trashing? I don't know. Maybe I should okay, just swindle and take a theodem. You have no coppers and no way to trash that right now. Uh huh. Well, I could get a moat. But then uh, uh, a moat. I could also get um like a stone mason. If I get a moat, uh, uh maybe I want the swindler to hit me so that he turns the province into another province or. I don't know what he could do. He would turn the fool's gold into more states. And the moat will draw dead, whereas a stonemason could still trash late game golds into duchies, trash provinces into two, two duchies, give some end game control, or I could buy nothing. Uh, I don't have any gold. Because I, I, I wish I would have could not be, afford a steward. I can't. I can't. Go for it, nothing. Getting some fortunate hands here. I mean, this is this is the third time in a row. Well, this is the third time. Every second turn, I get a province. This is. I could take this opportunity to, to get. A steward. And something a steward and a horse traders or a steward and a procession. Well, proce okay, not the procession, not the procession, but. Something that helped, nothing helps me connect my fool's gold. There's no draw. Well, the, the moat was draw, but it was just going to draw dead mostly, I think. I think getting a steward, because a steward now, it's like getting a chapel at turn 20, you know? 
But, you know, I could also use it for draw or for coin, but passing up a province, I don't know. He, my opponent has gold now. There's so much gold. Um, there's three gold. Yeah. Okay, that's running out. So maybe a stonemason. Hmm. I could put that on top of my deck. Uh, I don't have much draw. I don't think it's worth it to... Uh, well, I was going to buy a steward anyway. Um, yeah, my deck's not great. These, these aren't going to connect so much. But a gold still... I could... Trash a stone mace. I could use a stone mace and turn it into duchy. The, the estates are running out. Hit a province, so it hits. Uh, let's buy a steward. Number five, that's seven. Could buy nobles. Some extra VP. I'd like to hit a, a province, so I kind of rush the end game. Yeah, it gets the nobles. Uh, no curses have been trashed. Chooses a reaction card. Okay. Okay. Get a gold. This is. Um, what do I want here? Sea hag, where did you get the sea hag? I don't want that on my next hand. I'm just gonna. I don't even. I could draw at most one card dead, one action card dead. I could get the moat. Oh, five. This could be a duchy. Or horse traders. Or stonemason and that would rush the game end. Horse traders. Um I'm getting a lot of junk here. The spice furniture might have a nightmare stables hand where you have no treasures to uh do anything with. I'm gonna bet my luck on the horse traders, I think. To probably has enough for yeah, has enough for a province. So yeah, okay. He has that extra nobles. That complicates things. So that's um, one province ahead, but only four points ahead. Oh, I'm getting cursed, so yeah. Well, you can't buy, oh, he had coin tokens. Wow. Oh. I think I gotta, gotta break the PPR here. And then we're gonna, if he buys that last province, I lose. Oh, we got them from the plaza. That's how he got his coin tokens. But if he can't place, if he plays a swindler and hits a province, that's great. If I play a swindler and hit a province, it's great. I could afford a duchy here. Oh, let's discard that. Oh no, he gives me a curse. Yeesh. He buy a duchy. Uh, yeah, he buys a duchy. Why does he spend the coin token? Mm. Um, that hits a province. I can't. If that hits a province, I think I still lose. I haven't counted. It's. I have four provinces. He has three. Plus a duchy. Plus the nobles. Plus the fairies. He has more points than me. Um, plus the, yeah, I mean, plus the curses, uh, gotta go this way. Uh, 
unfortunately. Hmm. This is a reaction card, it's not great. Well, at least it didn't hit. At least it didn't hit um, Province. I think my opponent wins, so I was going to be able to pull Fort Province here and win the game. I think. Yeah, if he just has one gold in his hand, it's game over. Yeah, he, he beat me. All right. So that's the game in the series. Um, Frederick wins. Oh, but there were great games, though. I mean, well, there were a lot of heavy, intense ones. That last one, this last one was uh, more comfortable, more like, you know, familiar territory. But I liked it. Hmm. I think he still has a chance to uh, make it to top 16. So, yeah. Wish him good luck. Thanks for watching, guys.